In this video, you're gonna learn how to reduce the level of echo or reverb in your audio recordings. Now, echo and reverb can occur during the recording process if you're recording in a room that isn't acoustically treated. So the, the sound waves from your voice um, or whatever you're recording bounces off the hard surfaces, the walls and echoes back or reverb reverberates back into your microphone. That gets picked up. Ideally, you'd be you'd just re-record or record in a, a place with um, with acoustic treatment. But if you don't have access to this, or you're you're you mixing for someone else, say you're mixing a podcast recording, and someone's recorded in an office or something, then these tips should help you at least make the most of what you have. So I'm going to show you how to reduce reverb using just your stock plugins that come with your DAW, and then we're going to look at. Uh, Isotope RX, how to remove it with that plugin. So first, let's take a listen to what we've got. Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, referrals, if you do a really good job for your, your clients in, in the US. So let's think about what is actually um, on our audio that's, that's indicative that it was recorded in a less than ideal space. So what is the reverb doing? It's making it, uh, it's giving it a longer tail after each word. So you can hear it reflecting off. Recommendations. So that's going to create a tail after every piece of dialogue. And also it's got this kind of low mid build up as well in, in the low mid frequencies. It sounds kind of boxy. Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, referrals. You can hear the sound of that reverb. It's really in the low mids there. So a couple of things we can do with that for the tails, we can try and use gate to reduce the length of those tails and obviously EQ to reduce the harshness of that, that those low mids. Let's go for the EQ first because I think that's going to make the biggest difference. So just get out any EQ, whatever, whatever door you're using and let's find where those low mids are. Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, referrals, if you do a really good job for your, your clients in, in the US, talking to them about internal and exter external re referrals, that's been led to some really great client wins. Yeah, I think it's around there, around 300. So if we bring that down. Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, Referrals, if you do a really good job for your, your clients in, in the US, talking to them about internal and exter external re referrals. Increase the output. That's being so we can match led the to level. some really great client wins. And see, they Utilize want, want the input the same as the output. Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, Let's referrals, if you do a really good job for your, your clients. In Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, Referrals, if you do a really good job utilizing capability statements, recommendations, referrals, if you do a really good job. So it definitely sounds nicer. It doesn't sound as boxy and harsh. You could also use a, a multiband compressor if you have access to one so that it's affecting those frequencies more uh, when they're louder. So where was it? It was around 300, 350. Let's have a listen using a multiband compressor. So we're going to set the, the threshold again. Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, referrals. If you do a really good job utilizing capability statements, recommendations, referrals. If you do a really good job utilizing capability statements, recommendations, referrals. If you do a really good job utilizing. Yeah. So that's sounding really good, particularly in the louder sections there that the EQ is working a little bit harder. So let's get out a gate. I'm just going to use the channel strip that comes with Pro Tools. Now, for reducing the tails, it's only really effective towards when there's a gap after, so all you're hearing is the tail of that reverb. And this is quite a short reverb tail, so it's not going to make a huge difference, but we're going to, we're going to try it. Depending on your recording, this might be more effective. Let's have a listen and Utilizing uh, capability. Dial in the threshold so we're only getting the tails between each bit of dialogue. Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, 
referrals, if you do a really good job for your, your clients in, in the US, talking to them about internal and exter- external re- referrals. Soften the knees. That's, that's been harsh drop in led level. to some really great client wins. Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, referrals. If you do a really good job for your, your clients in, in the US, talking to them about internal and exter- external re- referrals. You want to bring that been, threshold up as much as possible without affecting the dialogue itself. Let's have a listen and compare. Let's have a look at a section where we've actually got some gaps in the audio. We might be able to hear it better. External referrals. That's been led to some really great client wins. External referrals. That's been led to some really great client wins. So you can hear that it's dropping off a little bit more quickly at the end there. So just those two things, the EQ and the gate, can turn uh, an overly re- reverby recording into something that's a little bit more listenable for the the end listener. We're going to take a look at Isotope RX. Now this is um, it's much easier to to fix this this problem with Isotope RX, but there is a cost involved, um, and you might not want to make that kind of investment. Or you could always download a trial version. Um, just to fix the audio you're working on. Because I think you can get it for free for 30 days or so. So if we highlight everything and just have a listen. Utilizing capability statement. If we could preview about to hear what it's doing. Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, referrals. If you do a really good job for your, your clients in, in the US. Talk- so it's getting rid of those tails. Um, but it, it does affect the the audio quite a lot. So we want to adjust this to get that balance right. Maybe bring that reduction down a little bit. But you can do this, this learn function as well. If you find a tail of reverb here, for example, click learn. That should hopefully maybe shorten it a bit so we're not just getting that breath. That should hopefully get a bit more accuracy. Now, this reverb profile is where you set what the what the reverb sounds like. So as we said before, there's a lot of low mids. So I'm going to bring that up a bit. You've got to use your ears as well. Um, let's reduce it by, say, 3.5 dB. I think the tail length is shorter than 1.8 seconds. The tail length is how long the sound reverberates after the initial initial signal. Just give that one second, I think. And let's render that. I don't want to enhance dry signal because it's going to skew our, our opinion on what it sounds like after. Here we go. Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, Referrals. If you do a really good job, so it has subtly reduced some some of the uh, some of the reverb. I think having the EQ as well in tandem with that, um, we'd we'd definitely need to reduce some of those low mids. I can do a little bit of that that now, just so we can hear the the whole picture. And we can also maybe bring it up a little bit more, 5 dB reduction, and render that EQ on as well. Utilizing capability statements, recommendations, referrals. If you do a really good job for your, your clients in, in the US, talking to them about internal and exter- external re- referrals. That's quite effectively reduced some of the reverb on there. It has affected the vocals. You need to make a decision on what's more important um, and what sounds best at the end of the day. Um, for this particular recording, it's not reverby enough to warrant using the D reverb to me um, at the expense of some of the fidelity, the quality. So I'd probably just stick with the EQ and gate on this. But if you have a really reverby recording, um, it might take something a bit more like the RX D reverb. Unfortunately, there's no way of completely removing reverb without just re recording. In, in a better space. But hopefully these tips have given you the tools that you need to at least salvage 
a bad recording that you're not able to re-record. For more mixing and audio fixing tips and tricks, make sure you're subscribed and let me know in the comments section below what audio you're working on. It'd be great to, great to find out. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.